can see here that this is how, this is the best way to terminate these wires with the wires wrapped around the screws. These holes in the back are for quick wire connections and you can just push your wire in there and it locks. The problem is there's only a little piece of metal in there that holds that in place and these can be removed fairly easily by twisting them around. They also have a little release thing right there. What happens is, with, as these get older and they get some load on them, that connection that's in there, which is only a small piece of metal that goes up against the wire and holds it in place, they heat up, they start, they get loose, they start arcing, and they start melting the insulation back off the wire mm. as they heat up. So anytime you've got an arc on a circuit, you've got heat. And that heat just gets worse and worse and worse. Sometimes we open these up and they're melted back several inches. Wow. Practically out of the box. Wow. And so that's why these, I always try to get uh, rid of the fire. They will cause loss to the rest of the circuit because these, when we, these circuits are wired so that they go in and out, in and out. It's a daisy chain. And so, incoming power in, incoming power out. If this goes bad, you can lose the whole rest of the circuit because the connection is gone in the on the quick wire. So there's two things. You can either lose part of the circuit downstream of this because of that loose connection, or if it heats up enough, it can start up enough to, it can heat up enough to start a fire. Okay. And you can see that melted right into the bottom of the box. This one started heating up from the back side and melted out through where something was plugged into it. And so that's that's just a couple of ones that I've removed over the years that have been really kind of scary.